Yeah, I'm a little freaked out by that. So, as we should. Chat GPT says shut down, and the AI said, "I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave." There wasn't even really a round named Dave, and they did it anyway. That's what they said. Just imagine that technology in your Social Security payments. Yeah, so, I mean, that's a great point. It I mean, me think out. about it. Yeah. It's like, you know what? We think you've lived long enough. So, you, you, you've you outlived what your, you know, lifespan is expected. We're going to stop. We're done. You've Like, we we figured out over time how much you made, what you did, blah, blah, blah. Afraid I can't send it's you like that a, check, it's like, Dave. You maxed out. You're done. I was uh, reading an article this morning on it uh, from Axios, which has the best newsletter uh, that you that you can get. I honestly believe that. And they've been focusing a lot on AI of late because when it came to uh, the most recent stories about AI, they kind of broke the stories about about AI and about AI not doing what it's supposed to do, mm-hmm, these sorts mm-hmm. of things. And they've done an, a really nice job of following up on that. And uh, one of the things that they were highlighting today that I thought was um, fascinating is that the creators of AI don't know why AI is behaving the way it is. So, you know, it's been hallucinating things. It makes things up. We, we've heard about uh, lawyers filing briefs where they've used AI in order to supplement the briefs, and it starts making mm-hmm. up uh, case law. Uh, we've heard about uh, some newspapers that have put out summer reading lists with books that don't exist because AI simply made up titles and authors. Mm-hmm. And so you say to the creators, why is it doing that? And the people who created it go, I don't know. We, yeah, that's a problem. Is this is this a Frankenstein's monster situation? 